Hi all. In this video, we are going to see about the decision making and branching concept. Myself, I am Selvarani, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology. This is the one of the important concept in the programming in C languages. And uh, many of the programming languages, we are applying the decision making and branching concept. In this C programming, here sequential programming statements are executed. Sequential means one statement executed immediately after another statement. In this situation, suppose if I want to control the flow of execution of the programming statements, we can apply the decision making concept. So this is the very important concept in programming languages. Not only C, any other all programming languages is the very important concept. In this diagram, what are the C languages support the decision making and branching statements. Here first one is if statement and another switch statement. Next one conditional operator statement and go to statement. In this video, we are going to discuss about the if statement. Remaining of the statements we will discuss in the future sessions. What is if statement? If statement is very powerful and important statement in decision making area. It is used to control the flow of execution. Flow of execution means suppose one statement executing the after statement. Suppose in this in this session I want to control the execution of the statement means. So here we can apply the if statement. This is the simple syntax of if statement if condition. If it is condition whether the condition will be true means the block of statement will be executed. If it is not means it is skip this statement outside of the block will be executed. So if condition is true means within the brace statement 1, statement 2, statement 3 and statement 4 this block of statement will be executed otherwise if it is not. So here I have given one simple example for if statement whether the number given number is positive or not. So first we need to include the import or include the header file for stdio.h. stdio means standard input output operations. In this program I am going to use the printf and scanf functions. So suppose if you want to use the printf and scanf function we should include the stdio.h in this C programming. After that, we, we should write the has include stdio.h and void main of function. Within the main functions, I have written the codings here variable a. I have declared variable a as a integer data type. After that, in the print of functions, I want to get the output from the output output area of get the values from the user so we should include the uh, enter the value for a so this control string will be whatever you are giving into the print up message it will be automatically print the output screen after that i have used scan of functions address of a means here i have represented percentage d percentage d represented the variable a as the integer type suppose if you want to get the integer value from the user we should include the percentage d within the scan of functions after that here we are, we are going to apply the if simple if condition if a greater than 0 Suppose if the value of a greater than 0 means the within the block of statement in this block I have given only one statement print up a is a positive value. So here for example enter the value for a here I have typed the value for 63. It is going to check the if a 63 greater than 0 condition is true. If the condition is true, it will be print the a is, a is a positive value. So output screen, it will print a is the positive value. After that, outside of the block will be executed. So another one example, I have entered the value for minus 66. So minus 66 is, it is not greater than 0. This is less than 0. So it will, it, it does not execute this block of statement. It will skip that area and our outside of the block will be executed. In this output screen, suppose if I want to execute the 
within the block of statement in if condition means if the condition will be true means the statement will be executed otherwise it does not executed so this is the simple if statement next we are going to see about the if else statement suppose if the test condition is true the if the in this given syntax if the condition is true the execute the this group of statement suppose if the test condition is false means if i want to execute the some group of statement means we can specify the if else part if the condition true means the statement one statement two within the if block will be executed suppose if the condition is false means the else part block that's this statement one this statement two will be executed so this is the another one important concept if else statement in most of the programming languages if i am going to uh, check the suppose if the condition is true otherwise not means we can use this if else statement here i have given one simple example program has include std io.h i have given void main of functions within the main function i have declared two variables variable a and b as the integer data type here get the values from the user i have used the scanner function address of a and address of b here getting the values from a and b from the user here i am going to check the if the a is greater than b it will print the a is the biggest value otherwise it will print the b is the biggest value so see this example enter the value for a a is 500 and a value for b is 300 so here i am going to check a greater than b condition is true a is the biggest value it will execute the if block value then next after that another one example i have given enter the value for a 100 and b is 300 so if the condition is false the else part will be executed here it will print the b is the biggest value so here we have seen about the if else statement if the condition is true means this if if block will be executed if it is false means the else part will be executed next one is if else if ladder here we are going to see about the multiple if condition multiple conditions suppose we are going to apply in c programming or any other programming languages means we can apply this syntax if condition expression 1 condition true means the statement of block 1 is executed otherwise else if the condition expression 2 is true means the statement of block 2 will be executed then next next one is finally else part suppose if, if expression 1 expression 2 expression 3 if all these things will be false means the else part will be executed finally the default statement will be executed here i have given one simple program for integer i equal to 20 if i equal to equal to 10 means it will print the value is 10 else if if i equal to equal to 15 means it will print the 15 if i equal to equal to 20 if it will print the 20 otherwise i is not present here this like this message will be printed so here i what is the value of i i equal to equal to 20 this condition will be false this condition also false then next loyal c if i equal to equal to 20 print of i is 20 this output will be printed so in this session we have discussed about the simple if statement and if else statement and if else if ladder so remaining conditional statement decision making statement we will see about the in future thank you